Hi, this is Gabe from Computer Geeks On Call once again. I want to cover off something that I do a lot of times when I'm helping customers on site, and that is to clean the file system. Now, you may find that you have trouble accessing files or the computer is just not running right, and sometimes cleaning the file system can make a big difference, or sometimes it's just a part of the solution. But here's something that you can do that's quite easy um, to clean your file system. Now what's the file system? Well that's kind of the software part of accessing files off your hard drive. The hard drive is always in use by your computer and you need to be able to read and write properly to and from your hard drive in order to use it properly. Windows is writing files to the hard drive and reading files constantly um, in order to operate. So if you find Windows or, or programs or files are not working properly, they're hanging or slow, you might consider doing this. Now before you take any step in my videos or this video, you have to make sure you have a full backup of all the data you care about um, just to make sure that that data is secure. By doing this step, there is the chance you will have data loss or programs will not work properly. So make sure that you've backed up your computer's uh, data and make sure that um, you're willing to take the risk of cleaning your file system. Now having said all that, what we can do is click on the start button and go to computer. Now if you're using Vista or Windows XP, um, it works the same way. So for me, I'm looking at my local disk C. If I click with my right mouse button on local disk C, I get options with that object, my local disk C. I click then on properties. A new window comes up and there's a thing called tools. So let's click on the tab at the top called tools. Aha, error checking. Now before I get into that, look at this thing called defragmentation. Uh, files are scattered in different locations on the hard drive and what defragmentation does primarily is it puts the files in one contiguous section and that means they're supposed to be a little bit quicker to read. I personally never defragment my hard drive because I don't really notice a difference. What do I do? I go through error checking. This option will check the drive for errors. So we click on the check now button and you make sure to select automatically fix file system errors and scan for an attempt recovery of bad sectors. So this is a step that you do if you have a problem and you want to clean your file system. So if we click on start, it pops up and it says, Windows can't check the disk while it's in use. Do you want to check for hard disk errors the next time you start your computer? And if we say yes to schedule disk check and then let's click OK, don't click cancel, click OK to save that change. When we reboot, we will see that our hard drive is being cleaned. So to do this properly, let's go through that. Let's click on start and choose to restart. I just want to show you what it looks like. Occasionally when I run through check disk, it will not run on reboot. I'm not sure why this is. So what do I do? I repeat the process and I try it again. So the computer is going to shut down. I told it to clean my file system on reboot. Now personally I do this on my computer anytime I think I might have a minor file corruption. Now why is this a big deal? Well let's face it, uh, the way the hard drive works is kind of like the old style record player that I used to play with when I was a kid. Uh, there's a record spinning around and there's a needle that plays the records, the vinyl records. Well, it's the same with the hard drive, but you've got these metallic discs and there are whole sets of them um, inside spinning normally at 7200 revolutions per minute, very fast, and the needle is like a reader head and it has to switch between these discs. And what's it's reading? It's reading uh, sections called sectors of the hard drive. It's looking for ones and zeros. The presence of a charge is a one. The presence of no charge <laughs> is a zero. And that's what it's reading. It's reading, is there a charge in this sector or not? Ones and zeros, ones and zeros. And that makes up all of your data. So that's not exactly the easiest thing in the world to do. Uh, to keep this charge properly on your hard drive. Um, so occasionally these charges and no charges um, don't work perfectly. Aha! And we run check disk. So we can see here on startup, try to focus this a bit better, 
that it is checking the file system on C. The type of the file system is NTFS, which is standard. A disk check has been scheduled. That's what we just did. Now it's verifying, and there are five stages, and now it's 8% complete. So when you're in this situation, you should not uh, stop this process because your computer is locked into your hard drive and it can cause problems. So make sure to let this run the whole way through. If this takes about five minutes, like mine's probably going to take, uh, that indicates that you know it's not a major issue that you have. I usually run this and it can take anywhere from 15 minutes to two hours depending on how much file corruption there is because every little uh, sector, the charge or no charge, is being checked. They are finding that things don't look right and they are fixing them uh, when you run through a uh, check disk or this error checking. So right now it's going through and it's cleaning. Now you can go away and come back every 15 minutes but as I was saying before um, you know it's a pretty it's a pretty tenuous or, or kind of odd way to store data is having a little charge or no charge in sectors on the hard drive and so you can understand that there can be problems that occur what if you're writing a file a word document and then you click save and the power goes off well that would be pretty hard for the the hard drive to store the file properly so what ends up happening is you may have part of the file that's proper and part of it that's all kind of jumbled and when you open the word document after you see a bunch of like garbage characters that don't make any sense um, if you ever find files that don't make sense it's probably something check disk uh, can help you out with of course there are many other possibilities um, but this is uh, something I recommend that people do as long as they have a good backup and they're willing to take the risk that uh, by cleaning the file system some programs may not work properly um, then go right ahead in my experience it's quite rare that you will have this difficulty but it is possible I do see it every month or so after running through check disk so I'm gonna end the video now and as long as this completes uh, properly you will get back into Windows and everything is fine if this process freezes or hangs or doesn't respond properly you may have a problem with your physical hard drive that needs to be replaced. Thanks for your attention.